Hello, beautiful soul. <laughs> I hope that you are so well where you are and that you are having just a wonderful time on this roller coaster of life. <laughs> There's always something going on. There's always something that captures our attention, that takes over our creative drive. Mm, that just puts us on this trek to this totally different place in life, possibly familiar, but a new journey in life that you did not even imagine you could be on. Just so awesome. And what I mean is, say, those times when you get super excited about something and you actually allow yourself to go on that wave. And then all of a sudden you're on that wave and you're doing the thing that ignited so much passion and creativity into you. And you're like in this bubble of like, okay, I'm not leaving this bubble until I'm done doing this. Or it's just some kind of flow that you've created within your life that you're enjoying. Maybe like going on a walk every single day and you're like, I've been walking every day. This is amazing. Which like I started my day this morning with a rainy walk, a rainy neighborhood walk. It was like misty. But anyway, what I'm saying is how wonderful to follow those creative urges and be able to trust yourself enough to just hop onto that wave and enjoy the moment, enjoy the humanness that is created and appreciated during that creative process I mean really really think about it think about us being souls in human bodies and that humanship being a human is something that is just it's it's one of a kind it's just you can't do it anywhere else and so the fact that we get to this time is really awesome and to kind of forget about that fact completely is just really sad because it really ends up being this loop of possibly just going home from work, which is within the box of society, the dome of society. Um, or you'll end up just watching TV, like a marathon of episodes rather than going out and exploring, going, going somewhere where if you're there long enough, you're going to see the sunset. That is a guaranteed time where you're going to be able to um, guarantee your, your going outness. <laughs> just be like, okay, I'm going to go there at six o'clock. And then I'm going to see the sunset. And then that's going to be that. Rather than just watching TV from like 5 until 10. <laughs> Go outside for a while. Anyway. What's up? <laughs> oh. So. Tomorrow. I am going to be 33, 33, tomorrow's my birthday, I'm going to be 33 years old, and I'm someone who's always just celebrated wisdom, age, oh my goodness, I, I'm this really, I'm a really old soul, and even as a child, I was just like, let's, let's go. <laughs> let's get the show in a row. Okay. So I know that my older self is this absolute force, this absolute fucking. <sighs> I can't even imagine her because I'm powerful as fuck today. Okay. So anytime I get older, anytime there's a birthday, I'm like, yep. Here we go. Here's another one. And I'm so excited because what I am and what I create, what I exude, what I put out into the universe, what I create, what I ignite is some powerful stuff. And I can stand behind it. I love it. I love me. I love myself. I love what, what I'm here for. 
I love the way that I light people up. I love the way that I light myself up. I love the way that I create boundaries around both myself and other people when it comes to what I will allow and what I will not in this life. And that's without fail. I love that I don't settle. I love that I continue to see the good in everything, in all things. And I love that I have come to just such a higher place within this journey of unconditionally loving every single soul within this universe, everyone, not just feeling it, but actually embracing it and saying it and acknowledging it, okay? Because people are the key to life. <laughs> people are the key it's so great people are amazing just just a great interaction outside will change your whole day it's something beautiful it's so beautiful mm. so yeah I will be 33 tomorrow and it's so something I don't know you know it's it's one of those things where like something is happening within a timeline and you are prompt one is prompt to think about something bring ownership to something bring awareness to something bring emotions to something and to be honest you know my transits right now actually represent someone who would like to sit inside and not really do much uh, and it just happens to land on my birthday and um, I also had moon in the 11th house the other day, like a couple of days ago. And um, yeah, there were just transits that are like, hmm, that maybe not a good time to have a party. <laughs> but I've been just writing whatever it is that I want, I feel like doing and what I've been doing, what I've been feeling like doing are things that lead to my highest life that lead to the greatness of life. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful of what my instinctual actions lead me to. Like I end up places and I stop and I say, thank you. And I thank all of them. I thank everyone around me. I thank everyone within me. And I'm talking spirit guides. I'm talking angels. I'm talking gods and goddesses and ancestors. I'm talking everybody in me, the whole team. And then myself, okay, we're all here working on this whole journey and this whole thing. And when I let go, and I just ride this vehicle, I arrive in places that, <laughs> that are there to just ignite the timeline of not just myself, but everyone that I come into contact with. And that's something beautiful. Something just so beautiful. And being a manifester in human design, I mean, my goodness. I mean, I've just been so blessed with so many tools to truly help humanity and I'm, I've also been given a lot of hardships a lot of things that go directly against what I am trying to do but because of how let's say enlightened I am and kind of just emotionally intelligent I am and my my ability to just pause and want and observe things and then make my decision uh, all of those things combine really just, I look in the face of these things that, that come up to me and I'm just pat them on the head and I'm like, yes, yes, you're doing your thing. I see you. All right, get out the way. <laughs> and then just go about my journey. And it's been so beautiful. I sing sometimes. So yeah, yeah, this is for YouTube. So if you're here on my YouTube and you're still watching this, I would love for you to stay connected with me. Subscribe, like the thing. Um, I've, I've 
yeah, my algorithm could, could use as much as it can receive. So comment to me. Let me know how you feel right now. What's vibing within you? Um, 33. Wow. 33. I would love to just... I want to continue just being like, I feel like this time is something of like, oh, you know, plan what you would like within your, your age, like journal what it is at what it's been like in a year. And I've been getting some really great downloads and great, great things for uh, what it looks like, what it's been since age 32 and 32 was a damn whoo, uh, warrior warrior af vibes i went through a lot in 32 a lot of bs <laughs> and, I, and and i'm just smile i just smile through it all laugh through it all pat it on the head and i say oh goodness so long as there are still trees outside and animals scrummaging and scurrying about other humans out there being within nature the sun the moon the waves the sand as long as all of that exists outside nothing nothing can get me down not a thing <laughs> because I'm a soul I'm not just this material thing like when this existence is over I get to go bounce off and do some other things like this isn't just it so when material things happen um car things um just money things finances uh any just material things happen it's like okay those things happen got it <laughs> so Life is just absolutely wonderful. It's so great to be a human. It's so wonderful to be a human. And I really, I do want to put forth empowerment to just help people feel more at home in their bodies and help people feel more at home here on this planet. Because I know that it's hard. It is so hard being here sometimes. It's very hard being limited to the humanness and I just want to just put forth some motivation guys look you're here for a mission okay and it's for a time you are infinity just enjoy your time that you have here while you're here okay put the ego aside don't think you're trying to have some kind of specific journey surrender to what you think is supposed to happen and then get going align with the things that align with you and if the things that align with you are not the things that are aligned with your purpose get to know your purpose get to know the things that align with your purpose get to know your self-discipline begin aligning with the things that align with your purpose and you will innately create a system within yourself that is reaching and ready for the things that align you with your purpose. Because that's what you're here for. You're not here for anything else. You're not here to watch all the seasons of whatever. You're not here to like even play a bunch of basketball. <laughs> you got, I'm honestly, I'm blanking on the, on the human um the human things the human accolades that are exciting <laughs> the material things are you're, you're here for other things okay you're an animal just imagine yourself an animal all right be sure you're getting sun be sure you're drinking water be sure you are drinking your soul giving your soul some some things to drink and that means um doing the things that you love when you get a creative straight a streak come put everything down and get to it ride that beautiful creative wave because that's what you're here to do be creative be a human be alive and whoever i'm talking to i don't know i'm just i'm just this like new 33 year old goddess here in a human body so don't mind me <laughs> <laughs> this is so silly.
<laughs> well, I hope that you all have enjoyed this wonderful talking time with me. There really was no topic. I just wanted to get on here and just channel some positivity and some light to you as well as just celebrate myself a little bit and bring some acknowledgement to my my past year that I've lived in been in humanship it's been absolutely beautiful and wonderful and I embrace my home here on earth I embrace myself and what I've been getting through and I embrace my team that are always with me guiding me showing me the light that I need <laughs> if you enjoyed this which I know you did. Like, subscribe, and share today. But also go outside, though. Go outside. Love yourself. Hug yourself. Give yourself the things that you need, that you desire, because you deserve it. <laughs> Bye.